Good happy Friday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First step, Senate rejects reveal Dem GOP plan for reopening government. A split Senate swatted down completing Democrat and Republican plans for ending the 34-day partial government shutdown on Thursday, leaving President Donald Trump and Congress with no observation formal for halting the longest ever closure of federal agencies and demanded it is inflicting around the country. Dartmouth-Hitchcock Granite One Hospital System to merge. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9, Siobhan Lopez. We just sat down with the leaders from both organizations. They say this is something that's been in the works for months, and they believe this will have a positive impact for patients all across the state. Now combined, the nonprofit healthcare system will be known as Dartmouth Hitchcock Health Granite One. They expect the merger to be complete by mid 2020. Now you may remember a merge was attempted about 10 years ago, but that was before the systems were established and they were looking to merge hospitals. Now with this merge, the hospitals themselves will not change. Officials, officials say the systems have collaborated for years and by combining, they will be able to meet the growing demand for high quality, low cost healthcare at all levels and in all Granite State communities. Patients will have more choices and they will have better access to healthcare, uh, more coordinated healthcare and higher quality healthcare right here in New Hampshire. It also um, will allow us to increase our inpatient capacity because we have the ability to access more of the bond markets to do necessary expansions. And this is just the first step in their process, this letter of intent. They have set up a website for patients to visit if they have any questions or if they're seeking more information. We have a link to that on our website, WMUR.com. Live in Manchester this evening, Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9. Oh. And there you go on that video and that report. Home heavily damaged after snow crashes into it. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9, Jess Moran. This is just some of the mess left behind as snow came crashing through the windows of this home and ended up here in the basement. I said, oh my God, here we go. James Desolate surveys the damage after snow slid off a hill and into the back of his home. I was gonna make a couple sandwiches and I went into the kitchen and that's on the back side. And, and I looked out the window and I thought I saw some snow moving and I looked again and then I could see water splashing up against the snow, and all at once it came down. The Claremont Fire Department estimates the snow slide to be about 150 feet wide and 800 feet long. No one was hurt as the house took all of the blow. The most that startled me was the water coming in the house. It was coming in all four windows. It was pouring like a like a waterfalls. In addition to four broken windows, there's significant water damage with a foot of snow in the basement. 
Look at how much water it put in it. A back deck and doghouse were destroyed, and the snow pushed a pickup truck 75 feet down the driveway. They picked up my truck. It was parked by my door by my house. They picked it up and brought it down there. James is starting the cleanup process with his brother's help, who luckily has tools for the job, but is still wrapping his head around what happened. Yeah. This is unbelievable. I've been a building contractor for 30 years, and I think this is the first time I've been called to deal with an avalanche. Despite all the damage and work ahead, James is maintaining a good attitude. It's not going to do no good to get angry. I mean, this is... Got to go with the flow. James is able to stay in his home. He says the furnace is working and he plans on spending the night here. In Claremont, Jessica Morant, WMUR News 9. Okay, there you go on that video and that report. Nurse who used to work in Dover pleads guilty to misdemeanor drug charge. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9, Jennifer Crompton. one point, Blaisdell faced 29 felony charges, but today both sides agreeing to a single misdemeanor of drug possession without a prescription. She mishandled the narcotics she was charged with taking, taking care of. She um, uh, illegally possessed these, these, these drugs without prescription. Look, and that's what we're doing. Her defense disputes Blaisdell ever forged anyone's signature, but the state says had it gone to trial, a fellow nurse would have testified to that. Wow. She forged my name 15 times in less than two weeks. That nurse allowed to give an impact statement, reading an Emily Dickinson poem about helping people. It's a complicated case. You know, the, the, the whole point of it is people in our state need help. The judge accepted the plea, noting that while Blaisdell abused her position and the trust of the facility, no patient was hurt by the conduct. She will permanently surrender her nursing license, is on probation for five years, and barred from providing medical care in that time to anyone other than family. She must also undergo a drug evaluation. In Dover, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Flooding causing issues in communities across New Hampshire. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9, Mike Cronin. Okay, we're having a little technical difficulties. Please stand by, everyone. Hopefully we can get the video playing. Okay, we have a little technical difficulty. Here we go. There's one actually. Whatever he's planning now. Melting snow and heavy rain causing problems across the state tonight. East Derry Memorial Elementary School had some minor flooding outside. This was more of an inconvenience, and school officials say the building wasn't damaged. In Salem, there was water backup on East Broadway. Once the basins were cleared, the water receded. And in Manchester, scenes like this have been common all day. The rain's uh, been a real problem uh, throughout the city. We've had uh, several calls for uh, uh, flooded basements uh, all over the city. Firefighters have been busy into the night, responding to dozens of calls for accidents and flooding. 
we've been uh, responding to all these uh, flooded basements. We're pumping their basements out with the pumps that we have. Uh, also uh, sandbagging, trying to divert water away from their house. Several accidents on the highway, people are hydroplaning and got a couple of rollovers on the highway today. So uh, it's been a it's been a pretty busy day for us. Manchester brought on four extra firefighters just to handle water related issues. Hopefully uh, it slows down and uh, we'll get back to normal. We spoke to a nearby public works director who says the water receded quickly and he's hoping that temperatures overnight will stay warm enough that he won't need to treat the roads, but that is something that he'll be watching closely. Reporting live in Manchester, Mike Cronin, WMUR News Now. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Dow features jump more than a hundred points despite trade fears. U.S. stocks index jumped ahead of Friday's open as investors geared up for another batch of corporate earnings. Missing three-year-old North Carolina boy found alive. A missing three-year-old North Carolina boy who went missing while playing in his grandmother's backyard has been found alive, according to the FBI in Charlotte. Casey Hathaway was found and taken to a nearby hospital late Thursday night, authorities said. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another newscast. And I'll have a news report coming up in a little bit. Goodbye, everyone.